The leaves are even starting to change. Autumn is here. Well, hello there. So we're back at back at it again, hunting for Halloween decor, and we are at World Market. I hope they have finally set their stuff because it's been a hot minute. Today is September twenty seventh, and um, this is the last time I'll be making a haunting for Halloween episode. So let's hope it goes well today. Oh, and then I wrote down because I've actually already made some stops because making like 10 stops in one day is kind of a lot, especially where I live because everything's really spread out. So let me tell you guys where I've already been and we'll go f through that real quick before we go inside World Market. And I don't have any makeup on today. I could not be bothered. So that's just how it goes sometimes. Also, I have some Halloween nails, which you probably can't see. Uh, these two, my pointer finger and my pinky finger, have sparkles on them, so that's exciting. I got them done at my sister's wedding, and um, now they're just transitioning to being Halloween autumn nails. So I've already gone to Tuesday morning, Marshall's Dollar Tree, Bed Bath Beyond, Bed Bath and Beyond, and Fred Meyer. Uh, Tuesday morning at Marshall's had similar stuff to Home Goods, but like way, way, way less. I didn't really find anything there. Uh, Dollar Tree, I thought it all looked kind of like mediocre, so I didn't really feel the need to film in there. It was just like basic, some basic Halloween stuff that I felt was kind of cheesy, so I didn't want it personally. Um, and then Bed Bath & Beyond, I didn't film any footage in there either because I didn't see any Halloween stuff. All I saw was autumn, pumpkin spice, fall leaves, like that sort of stuff. So it's not my taste and I don't think it's most of your guys' taste either for fall stuff. You want more like Halloween spooky stuff. So I opted to not film in there for that reason. And in terms of Fred Meyer, Fred Meyer had a lot of really cool stuff. They had a bunch of witchy things this year. I personally liked the collection better last year because it was more centered around bats and I love bats, if you don't know that about me. This year it had really cool crystals and crystal balls and theming just around all things magical and witchy. They had really cool plates and bowls and pillows, pretty much anything you could ever want in a witchy decor situation, but that's just not my personal taste. I don't really go for witchy aesthetics. But if you're all into that, girl, go to Fred Meyer or your local Kroger store, wh whoever it is in your area, because they got it going on this year. So I also, while I was in Colorado, I went and visited an at-a-home at store and it was pretty cool. I wish we had at home here. There were two, like there was stuff I wanted but it was too big for me to, to carry with me to back to Oregon from Colorado. But I'll make sure to answer some footage. We just kind of walked around. They had a lot of stuff. Like I was surprised. At home to me is like the home good version of like Lowe's or Home Depot. Like it was huge in there. I was very surprised. I didn't realize at home was such a big store. So here's that footage. Very, very cool stuff.
moving it. Can't focus on it if you don't do, do that. It looks like the veins are a little, little too out there, though. Okay, expert. <laughs> I didn't know you were seeing CSI. I mean, you go back to Halloween because it's Christmas. Mm. You go back to Halloween. Stop! <laughs> don't touch me with that. That's a nasty looking foot. <laughs> you keep moving so I can't focus on you. Glad I got to go inside, even though I couldn't buy anything. And we'll see how how well I do today at filming because it seems quite crowded outside. I don't know if it's because it's Friday, even though I started my day earlier than I normally do. I don't know if it's because it's Friday or if it's because it's going to rain this weekend and everyone wants to get stuff done before that happens. I don't know, but wish me luck. <laughs> okay, let's. I'm going to go inside and see what's up. Okay, so we just got out of Cost Plus World Market, and I gotta say it was a bit of a Debbie Downer. Last year they had, I feel like they had like rows and rows and rows of Halloween stuff. This year they only had two little rows, and one row was taken up completely by wine and elder alcohol, which I didn't get footage of because I don't personally care about that kind of stuff. And then the most like noteworthy sections were the Adams Family collection. That collection is so cool. I'm really glad they did an Adams Family collab to make some really cool dishware. If you like the Adams Family, go check that out. They did have some new stuff, but a lot of it, I would say like 70% of it, was repeats from last year. So, unfortunately, World Market was not as good as last year. I don't know why they decided to not put out as much stuff, but. Oh well. They did have some like other skeletons and some cool candles that you could get but I didn't film any of that stuff because I feel like everywhere you could get those little like dog skeletons, parrot skeletons, whatever skeletons. I feel like they're everywhere this year so I didn't film any of that because I feel like they're, they're just didn't stand out in any way so I didn't want to film it. But let's head over to our next stop which I may make it Victoria's Secrets Pink may not. I have seen some really cool underwear there. <laughs> but if we don't go there, then the next stop after that is Target and then Spirit Halloween. Uh, I think I forgot to mention, but I have gone to Ross, so they kind of had to repeat stuff from everywhere else. And the one I went to was extremely picked over. There was like nothing there. So I'll see you at both Target and then Spirit Halloween. I got a bit chilly out, so I had to put my sweater on um but we made it to target i'm gonna go inside i have prematurely ventured around because in colorado they had already set their halloween stuff out so let's go ahead and go inside and see what we can find at this local oregon target i'm pretty excited for the stuff they had this year though so wish me luck in recording and hopefully it's not too busy in there <laughs> Okay, so I just left Target and I pulled up into Spirit Halloween. Let's go over Target pretty quick. Target, I think their collection is super cool this year. I really like their plant cemetery thing they have going on. I think it's really cool. I personally don't know where I would place that in my house <laughs> or apartment, but I do think that collection is really cool. I really like the um, werewolf hound cemetery tombstone thought that that one was really cool i really liked their little bottles like their potion bottles that was really cool the little ghost planter was adorable i just liked how their collection ranged from like more vintagey to modern to if you like like plants and that sort of thing they got they got you there they just had a really wide range And then I also saw a little section in their home goods area where they had a really cool collection of like a skull 
planter or a human head planter and they had really cool candlesticks and really cool skull plates and a really cool, I don't think I say cool, but really it was really cool, a tray that had snakes for the handles and it for some reason gave me like Slytherin vibes, so Harry Potter vibes on that one. If it was cheaper, I would have, I totally would have got it, but it was $24.99 and I don't really need a serving tray that's that expensive. I have nowhere to put it. <laughs> so check out that little area if you are going to go to Target because it has some cute little treasures over there. And our one spot section sucked, so I didn't get any footage of the one spot section. And luckily I did buy a couple of little things in Colorado when I was there in their one spot section because I knew it would be better than the one here. So I'm glad I did. Otherwise I would have probably missed out on some things that I, if I hadn't have bought them in Colorado. So now that we're at Spirit Halloween, I'm gonna go in. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's very busy. I feel like Spirit Halloween never seems that busy in the parking lot though. So I'm gonna go in and check out what they have and then I'm gonna return home. Well, Spirit Halloween is what I normally expect where it's just kind of cheesy. <laughs> if you like scary stuff, like horror movies or just things that like jump scare kids. That place is really good, but I never wanted that stuff. So for me, for Halloween was kind of a bust. I saw these two really cool Harry Potter signs online where it said Ollivanders and Diagon Alley. Couldn't find anything Harry Potter home decor related. I only found a Nightmare Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus and I found some of that, so I'll insert it here. But other than that, their other home decor items were just kind of cheesy. They had a gothic noir section. I didn't film any of it because to me it just looked cheesy and it was really expensive for what they're asking for. So that's why I didn't film it. So if you are really in Hocus Pocus or Nightmare for Christmas, then that might be worth your trip. Or like I said, if you really like horror stuff or just things that'll scare kids, <laughs> then that's the place for you. But for me, I didn't find anything. I didn't get much footage either because of that reason. Plus it was very loud in there and it was kind of making me feel overwhelmed. <laughs> I think that's the end of our Haunting for Halloween decor series this Halloween season. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this series and liked coming along with me. Hopefully next year I'll be a little bit better at recording inside stores and maybe we'll include audio versus me just talking over the audio or me inserting music to go over top the video footage. <laughs> I think I said that weird. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Let me know down below if you found any cool items so far this Halloween season. Some of you have shared with me, shared some of yours with me and I really appreciate it. I really like hearing what you guys got. So look out for my final Halloween haul coming at you very soon. So Till next time, hope you guys have an awesome yet spooky week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!